Good morning everyone, hope you've had a fabulous week. This is the first of a series of videos where we're looking to bring to life all the amazing work that's happening across our schools and the whole of the NEN Education Trust. I look forward to sharing with you the successes and the interesting things that happen every week across our schools. And this week I'm delighted to be joined by Mark Curl, Executive Principal over Park and St Peter's. Welcome Mark. Nice to be here. So Mark, you've been with us around six months now? Oh, six months, yep. It's been a very interesting, busy time. Yeah, it's been really busy. It's been great. It's nice to be part of uh, the NEN education family. It's been good to be part of something that uh, has got a real emphasis on children first and the focus on the people that we're working with. So yeah, it's been a really lovely six months. Um, lots of learning, big steep learning curves, lots of people to get to know, lots of things to get my head around, but uh, I'm really, really uh, excited about the prospect of working a lot more with uh, the people that I've met. And there's been a huge amount of positive feedback, hasn't there, across both the schools since you've been, been in post? Uh, that's very nice of you to say so. Um, it's been good fun. Um, the, the, I'm, I'm very privileged to work in the two schools. Uh, some really great people that work there. Um, the children themselves, obviously, the most important thing, are wonderful to work with on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, but we're very lucky. We have some good family communities. And the schools were in a good place when I arrived. So um, it, it, it's been a pleasure so far. And long may that continue. And we're very much looking forward to see how, how things continue to regress. But definitely huge, huge positive feedback from the staff community, the parent community. And we're starting to see that, that buzz and excitement, which obviously we knew you would bring to those schools. Um, most importantly, those young people have got a hell of a ride ahead of them, haven't they? They have. And it's very nice of you to say so. Um, again, I'll go back to the fact that I have a really great team to work with. And it's exciting to see where we can go with the two schools. Yeah, it's, it's good fun at the moment. And uh, let's see where we go. So Mark, what does success look like for you this year then? I think tying in with the messages that were very clear from the training day, it's about making sure that we have everything around our young people to be successful. So we are looking at a whole child initiative, we are looking at making sure we have not just the educational part of things covered but also, so yes our curriculum is, is busy and full, yes we have uh, the wider offer sorted so we have lots of clubs and activities and things like that, but it's also about making sure that our well-being for our young people is paramount and that we are completely aware of all of their needs so that we meet their needs both academically and socially and emotionally as well. So we've heard about your ambitions and, and hopes and the dreams which you're going to make obviously come, be fulfilled. Um, what's the biggest challenges you think you face this year then? So we're very close together. Uh, the two schools, uh, Park, Infants and St Peter's Academy are less than 100 yards apart really, um, only separated by manor and we serve the same families, we serve the same communities but the schools are quite unique and quite different as well so there is a bit of a challenge over time that they've got to come closer together but maintain their own individuality as well and that is a bit of a challenge as we sort of find our way through and we, we sort of navigate our way through that but the parents are enjoying the fact that we're collaborating and we're working together so I think the future might be some form of collaboration but maintaining our own individuality as well. Fabulous. So Mark, we've heard, we've heard obviously the important stuff but more, even more important, let's get to know you a bit more. Obviously you're a big music fan, mm. big music maker. Mm. Um, Desert Island Discs. Uh, you're on a Desert Island Discs. Three, three tracks. Three. Three tracks, who are you taking? It's not even the traditional number. Um, <laughs> three. I would go with that is really hard. And you know that's horrible. You know, you know that's, that's really horrible you. for me. So whoever's coming up next, next time I interview them, they're going to get an even worse question, I'm sure. Okay, so the three that I would choose, definitely, uh, God Only Knows by the Beach Boys, definitely, um, oh, this is hard, Let's Dance David Bowie, and definitely Aztec Camera Somewhere in My Heart. There you go, there's an obscure one for you That's as well. It. I wouldn't have put all three of them together <laughs> in, the, in the same batch, but that would keep you entertained, wouldn't it? But I think that's showing my age as well. I could throw in In Excess New Sensation as well, because I think oh, that's an amazing one. song. Thanks so much, Mark. Really appreciate that today. I hope you've all enjoyed that first video of a series that we've got coming up. Um, obviously we want to keep celebrating and sharing all the successes and momentous occasions and events that happen across the organisation. Um, if you want to get in touch or you want to get involved in the future, please drop me an email, love to hear from you.